Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you how to test a motor uh, to see if the windings are good or if they're bad. Today we got a, a General Electric uh, 5 lead motor. Um, it will test the same whether it's a 6 lead motor, a 9 lead motor, or a 12 lead motor, or a 5 lead motor. Um, basically you have a couple of series of windings in pretty much uh, any electric motor. Uh, they all pretty much test out the same way, although how you test them may differ between um, this particular one. Um, we've got uh, wires that are labeled for us, uh, T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5. Uh, this particular one doesn't have a start capacitor internal. It uses an external uh, start capacitor, and it uses a SINPAC uh, switch. Uh, that uh, uh, tells the capacitor when to start and when to stop and all that good stuff. Uh, regardless, uh, this motor uh, may or may not be good. Um, we're going to test it out to find out. So I'm isolating T1 and T Okay, uh, we got about uh, three tenths of an ohm, uh, so we got continuity here. We're going to isolate T3 and T4. We also have continuity there. So as a check to see if there's uh, any uh, continuity between the two windings, we'll test to one of the other two legs or both of the other two legs. So this would be uh, T3 here. And uh, unfortunately we have a bad motor here. Uh, what's going on here is both of the main windings have shorted together internally inside of this motor. Um, uh, so this particular motor would either need to be rewound or replaced. Uh, given the cheap nature of this motor, it would be replaced. Uh, but what you can also do is test against T5. T5 is the start winding, and there should be no continuity between any of these. Uh, unfortunately, oh wait a second, no, uh, uh, T8 will uh, be made internally, so there may be continuity on one of these legs. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit of resistance there, so um, it's uh, the neutral must be made, being made inside of the motor um, but as tested this motor is bad because we have a continuity between the two sets of windings where they should be isolated that's basically how to test a motor thanks for watching